and welcome to another video. We're back on our five cars, five tracks, and we're at high speed ring. Yep, it's going to be a very quick course this one. A lot of people are in the NSX. There's no qualifying on this one because the result, the uh, grid positions are determined by the results of the championship so far. So whoever is leading the championship starts last. Oh, so reverse grid. Reverse grid, grid. yes. So um, I'm seeing a large amount of people in the NSX. Just a note that in the previous race, um, Victor used the NSX, so he can't use it on this track. So what's Victor in today? Victor is in the Evo. Okay, so everybody else in the NSX? Uh, but all except Matty, who for some bizarre reason has chosen the Fiat 500, the slowest car on the fastest track. I'm sure he's got his reasons. There was a honest John just collided with Tetrick there, but yeah. uh, they both seem to no have survived. Harder. Yeah. So we're on board with Tepic, or Chase Cam, uh, seventh place. So yeah. he's making his way up. Just quickly Bit of contact race. there. Rob is yeah. wiggling about as well. Yeah, I'm wondering whether people have started on the hard tyres. It's a different tactic to the races that we've seen. We see someone going wide. Who was that? That's Paul. So Tepic here is on SH, so sports yeah, hard. Sports hard, yeah. It's, uh, the hard tyres around here are like driving on ice. Rob is on sports soft. Yeah, they, they will wear out incredibly quickly on this track because of the nature of it, as we see Interfly going into the final turn and making a mess of it. And Jack going through the middle of them, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty good. What, um, is Tepic trying to get rid of this hard tyre quickly then? Is that the uh, idea? Yes, yeah. but not probably not doing the tactic that was done on previous championships where you sort of do one lap and then put on the pit and get rid of the hard straight away. Um, you can't do that with this because the. Uh, the fuel, you wouldn't have enough to get to the end of the race. Right, track, okay, okay, so that, that, so uh, yeah. And depending on the car again. So what we've got, currently Jag in first, Anton in second, Robbie in third, and Vidfy in fourth. Yep, it's all looking all clean so far. Oh, a nice slide from Jag around there, but he holds it, and power sliding from everybody there. But he's on the, so the so sticky tyre, Robbie's on the sticky tyre, I think Anton was on there. See either, but you notice that there's red showing on those tyres already running on lap two, so they are starting to wear already. Is that the car then on this? Is it the car or combination yeah, of cars? It's going to be a combination of the two. You've got uh, more power being put down onto the track, which uh, is just going to wear out the tyres a bit more. And of course, if they're sliding around the corners as well, I mean, you don't go quick if you're going sideways. It's quite it a flowing track, this one. Is this a real track? Yeah. It's, a, it's a fake track. There's only six turns on it as well, so it's really fast and flowing. You can see the track map on the top right-hand corner, just how quickly flowing. There's a couple of, um, what is it, third, third gear bends. Oh, it's been in a few other GT games. Yeah, yes, it's been in previous ones. It wasn't in GT Sport, but uh, it's a good addition to uh, GT7. It's a really good track. As you see, that uh, Robbie at the moment with the fastest lap there. As Jack's Jack is still holding on to the lead. Robbie second with Anton third. And then it looks like Interfy is down and falls in a little gap back to him. But the top three are quite close, to be fair. Yeah, and Victor's doing a sterling job in sixth place in the Evo. Holding off, yeah, which uh, is a slower car, obviously. It's slower it? than the NSX. So what we've got going on there? That's a. Uh, there's. Oh, well, well, oh, there's that oh. Yeah. We're going to have to take that back because that was. Uh, Anton and Robbie getting together. I didn't quite see what actually happened there, other than Robbie's in that penalty. Let's go back. Right, okay. So you see, right, Anton's got a run. So uh, we're here. on board with Robbie here, by the looks of it. Robbie, yeah, he leaves the door open a bit, and Anton goes to the inside. But that was Robbie, a bit of a dive. It was a bit of a dive, but I think that Robbie, unfortunately, just didn't see where he was. I just turned into one. Unfortunately, it's Robbie who came off the works because he gets a penalty because he hits the. Uh, yeah, hits let's the have another look. We're on board now with Anton, so let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's, um, he's got. I mean, Anton's got a good run, but he's still not. Yeah, you're right. It is a bit of a dive from the back, but you know, the door, Robbie is, has the door left is open. The door open. Then, yeah, Robbie does the turn. Yeah. yeah. That's it's a, a bit, bit of a racing. It's incident, a racing incident that one. It's. Um, on the very edge of acceptable, I think. And unfortunately, Robbie just lost yeah. that and got a penalty to. to uh, yeah, that's purely because he nerfed the wall and you get penalties so much as you, you know, even if you only very lightly scratch the paint, you get a one and a half second penalty, or you can hit it hard enough to trash your engine and you still get a one and a half penalty. Yeah. It's, um, 
very that, consistent. That's gifted. Uh, oh, hang on, we're skipped to lap five now. There's yeah. another interesting Jack's just lost it. Jack Anton's was, taking the lead. Playing Jack was in first there. He's got three seconds, haven't he? Now, what happened there then? That's so, good. we're on board, Jack. His tyres are quite worn. Yeah, uh, got a turn slapper coming out. Hits the barrier. Second and a half. And then backs into it again. That's another, another second, second half. half. Yeah, so three second penalty. Look at the smoke pouring off the tyres. You get off the grass, you haven't got any grip there. So uh, he's, he's lost some positions. We've, where are we now? Um, up to lap five at the moment. We're on into five at the moment in third place. That's a good solid performance. That must be before Jags in tomorrow. Yeah, because they're in the smoke. So yeah. look, you're going to see him if I go through if you can see yeah. where he's going. Uh, so we've got Anton in first, then into fine second, then Jag. Oh no, no Jag got the fault fast in there. Uh, but it's a long race, isn't it? It's a fair 31 laps. 31 laps, and only on lap five, we've got everything to play for at the moment. They're quite quick laps, though, to be Oh, fair. yeah. Um, most people in the quite quick cars as you see Anton power sliding around the corner and making them. What's the situation with his tyres? Oh, I didn't notice that there. It's, um, he's coming he's, in now, but yeah, he's right at rear. He's absolutely ruined. So he's race leader coming in the pits for, I think, presumably his first pit stop. So he's yeah, done he's well to do nine laps. On soft nine tires. laps on the on softs, yes, but you look at how much wear they had on them. So he's on with John going to take the lead. He's on the medium He's tires. on the medium, which is going to last a bit longer. The mandatory tyre on this, of course, is the hards. You have to use the hard tyre at some point. Um, we should wait and see if that's what Anton puts on. That's important on the. You won't actually tell him to the leaves of pits. It's um, quite a long stop. Fueling up to the finish. Well, not up to the finish, up to the next level. Did you see what you were yeah, on? I really. suspect he's probably put his uh, ears he put, put the hard tires on. He's put the hard tires on, yeah, okay, so that's. Uh, so he's come out in third place, yeah. which uh, Honest John and Tetwick 1 and 2. How did Tepic get up there? He was down in seventh for a lot of that race. He was, but he started on the hard tyre, so has he yet to stop? No, look, he's still on the hard tyre. Tepic hasn't stopped. Well, on lap 10 on the hard tyres, are always been for the so hard tyres are like driving the last, as you see, Honest John pitting. Honest John's now in, yeah. Um, so we'll, surely Tepic will pit this lap, because isn't his fuel flashing? I don't um, know. Yeah, his fuel flashing, he's got no choice, he's got to pit, he's going to run out of fuel otherwise, and that would just be an absolute disaster. So, yeah, into the pits, didn't cross any of the, over any of the lines. But he's good. got rid of the, the worst tyre. Yeah, the manager's tyre's now gone. He can now put on the softs or the mediums. And race and leader, who was the race leader, he's just coming along. Is he going to retake the. Uh, yes, he does. Yeah. That's Anton back in the lead. Jag in second. Honest John still in the pits in third. And Tepic in the pits at fourth. We're going to get jumped jump by Robbie. Uh, we'll take a good by the looks of it. Yeah. I can't quite see it. where he's coming out. No. Did you see it's, um, it's still early days. We're only on lap 11 at the moment. Jag's got the fastest lap of us, isn't it? 121. Um, yeah. But Anton holds on to me down, aren't he? Is that Anton going slow there? It looks to me like he's going a bit slow. Yeah, we don't know what. So Jack's on the medium tyre. And Anton's side. just gone wide into the final turn, and that's going to lose him a whole load of momentum. And is Jack Jack, Jack's on the medium tyre, so Anton we know is on the hard, so he's on yeah. the worst tyre. So he's on the tyres, which it's like driving on ice with the hard tyres. The mediums are so much better. I think in terms of lap time, the mediums are only about a couple of tenths of a second off the soft running pace. But the hard tyres were about a second and a half off. And it's taken some time, but Jack has really started to reel him in from that. Yeah, is that all from him grazing that wall? Anton's going wide again, and this is just, yeah, I think this has just lost the momentum. Because Jack is reeling him in. And they're all going around the outside. Can he make it stick without losing yeah. it? Looks like there's a little bit of a slide, but yeah, held it. Oh, so close to the barrier. Is that going to be a penalty for going over the white line, or will he get away with that? No, I think he's got away with that. That would have flashed up by now. So that's Jack back into the lead, with Anton down in second. And oh, we've got some pit stops coming up. We're on lap 21. Oh, we didn't see what happened there, but uh, Tebbit's been, he was on the softs. And so um, Jack's just leaving the pits there. I don't see what time he put on. No, I couldn't see, uh, but we are, no, he's on hards, so he's hard left the hards. So, so that'll be it to the end. Yeah, but that's on a low fuel load now as well to the end, so that should be okay. Anton's coming in again. 
Yeah, so we did this, you know, the hard tyres are wearing quite a, quite well, so... Uh, so that where are we all going to come out? So race leader Anton is in the pits. Yeah, we'll just see. Jag we know has stopped and he's not stopping anymore. Yeah, that's it, he's going to the end. He's just passed Matty. He chose the Fiat 500 for this race. Yeah, there he is. So Jag does retake the lead of the race. Anton's still in the pits. And there's Robbie in third. What has happened to Kevin? He's down in fourth for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But uh, what time's uh, Robbie's on hearts? Suspect that Tepic is well, not. Anton on has come out on softs. Yeah. But Tepic's just jumped in. Um, has he? No, Tepic's behind him. Yeah, Tepic's in fourth here at uh, lap 24. What's Tepic's yeah. on softs as well? So both yeah. these cars are on softs. I think what, what we've got here is because Tepic pitted a lap early, oh, we've got a bit of bump drafting going on there. I'm not sure that Anton was too happy about that, but it is a legitimate tactic to try and close up to the people in front, but I'm not sure that uh, Anton was appreciative of right, that. Right, yeah, and you both got past uh, Robbie, and the Robbie's doing his final pit stop, so yeah. that's how you've leaped from then. So we have Jag in first, Anton in second, and Tepic in third. He's Tepic going to be able to make the move on uh, Anton. Let's see, this is the corner that catches the, Anton the, out all the time. The tyres on Tepic's car are a lap older than but so he's got a good run on him over the bridge. Is he going to be able to outbreak him into the uh, next corner? Try mm -hmm. around the outside. Yeah. That's I don't think that's on that's not on. No. Yeah, Anton hugs the inside. Um, tepic has got no choice but to give that Can one he up. not do the old switcheroo? Oh, I hate it when people say that, but no, he can't. No, he's too far <laughs> back now. Look at that. Too far back, he's got a bit of fight. I mean, it's on lap 25, there's still six laps to go. Um, I'm counting correctly, and um, yeah, still early days to make another move, another move, but we all know that Anton is particularly difficult to get past, although he's running wide there. And that's where he hit the wall earlier, wasn't it? When Jack yeah. Was behind him, right? The problem is, if you if you start trying to uh, go up to the outside of the wall, yeah, I think it works all right for the first point, as we skip on a little oh, bit again. here. Yeah, Anton's gone wide coming out of turn two, and Tepic's got a run on it, he's got to nail him into the corner this time now. And Tepic's got the fastest Tepic's lap, the the fastest moment, lap as, well. as well, so yeah, Tepic's, yeah, nice clean move, round the outside of Anton. Um, it seems like Anton really struggling with either the car or the track. Yeah, he's, I think when I've seen him before on this track, he doesn't like those two sort of third gear corners. He tends to uh, be a bit slower than normal to, uh, maybe that's something he needs to work on, because he's back up to speed now. As so we skip on to the final lap, with Jack coming around the last corner, to cross the line in first place and by quite a distance as well. Yeah, well done to him. Yeah, we've got Tepic in second place, so he's tapped to look at his tyres, nearly gone on the right hand side. And Anton in front. And in third with Robbie Falks. That's a good recovery. Oh, yeah, sorry, it was Robbie Falks. It was that Robbie Falks, that was Victor that we saw crossing the line, he was in the Evo's back marker. But, uh, well, was, yeah, well yeah. done to Jag. It was Robbie. Robbie got the fastest lap in the end. I'm really certain yeah, that in the last minute. that will have annoyed Tepic somewhat because he could have done with the two points there, but it's awarded the fastest lap. Thanks for watching as always. Hit the like if you liked it, and we'll see you next week. Where yeah. are we next we week? We are at Trial Mountain next week. Lovely. See you then. Bye.